Ryan, thank you. A Monroe County seventh grader is in custody tonight after police say he brought a loaded gun to Edward Edgewood Junior High School. It's the second time in less than a week that something like this has happened in central Indiana. Fox 59's Max Lewis explains what happened and why police say parents need to take responsibility. Around 7.30 Thursday morning, Ellettsville police say a student told administrators that a 7th grader had a gun on the school bus. Edgewood Junior High School was notified immediately. Within five, six minutes of getting that uh, information, the student was located. He was searched by our, our school resource officer and, and the weapon was found. That 14-year-old boy had a loaded 38 caliber handgun. Ellettsville's police chief, Jimmy Durnell, said the gun was stolen and the student told officers he thought it was cool. Should have been tragic. We're just so thankful that this, uh, this young lady uh, made the right decision. The student was taken into custody and sent to a juvenile facility. This is the second time in less than a week that a student has brought a gun into a central Indiana school. Last Friday, a 17-year-old was found with a 40 caliber Glock at Ben Davis High School, along with 15 bullets and a strap accessory. The Indiana School Resource Officers Association says these types of incidents are increasing. They are asking parents to step up and prevent these incidents from happening in the future. It's got to be parents staying vigilant. The, it's an easy thing for parents to keep their very own firearms locked up. That's an easy thing. We can't get the easy things wrong. Julie Questenbury with the Indiana School Resource Officers Association said officers in school can't do it alone. Along with keeping firearms out of the hands of children, she said parents need to check in on their kids. Watching your kids, paying attention to what they're doing, who they're hanging out with, and get to know these things. Ellettsville police will be conducting extra patrols at the schools over the next week. The chief says after countless school shootings across the country, he hopes everyone will continue to speak up if they see anything suspicious. We know that we're not going to exempt necessarily from that. So we, we know we have to keep our eyes open and our ears open. In Ellettsville, Max Lewis, Fox 59 News. Max, thank you. Police say the case will be forwarded to the Monroe County prosecutor to decide if any formal charges will be filed. Those could include possession of handguns on school property or dangerous possession of a firearm.